The rain may have stopped falling in South Carolina, but the danger is far from over. Authorities are watching several waterlogged dams that could overflow. Flooding has already shut down hundreds of bridges and roads in the state, something Governor Nikki Haley warned will continue. You're going to start to see road closures down from the Midlands down to the low country as that water flows. So don't be surprised if there's a road that's open now, that doesn't mean it's going to stay open. Over the weekend, some cities saw more than 20 inches of rain. Members of the State National Guard Helicopter Aquatic Rescue Team have been searching for people who are missing. Some are in towns that have been cut off. We assessed the scene. There was people waving towels and getting our attention and I think we rescued about 25 people out of that one neighborhood. Storm survivors now face the harsh reality of starting over. Ashley Perillo and her family escaped floodwaters through the window of their home. This is all we own. What we got on us now is all we own. Federal assistance is now on the way to the hardest hit parts of the state. Don Champion, CBS News.